Today's vinyasa yoga session will support the stage three task of connecting to your sexuality. Sexuality is a combination of mind, body, and energy. So much more to explore than we generally consider in our culture. So your question to consider during today's session as we connect with our bodies is how you might connect with your mind and with your energy together in terms of a new perspective on your sexuality. We'll begin by setting up the breath. Today we're going to try a three-part breath where we inhale and feel it through the head and the throat, the chest, and then the belly. So into the head, the chest, then the belly fills. Then we exhale in reverse, the belly in, chest in, and head. And then again, in through the head, chest, belly. Now squeeze in the belly, out, belly, chest, head. And we can squeeze it down to get out a little bit more. Again, inhale, head, chest, belly, and exhale, belly, chest, head. Let's do a few more of those. Inhale, And exhale, squeeze the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale, head, chest, belly. And exhale, belly, chest, head. Again. One more. and return to breathing normally. Let's get started. So we'll start with a seated position. You might want to sit on a block. Uh, if you'd like extra support, you can put blocks under your knees. Be sure to support yourself in any way that you need today. That can be different every day. And also be sure to try different moves with different props just to explore how it feels differently. Props are your friend. So we'll begin in the seated position for a bit of a seated warm up. We'll just start by taking a couple of cat cows. So we'll round the back for cat. Inhale. Arch the back for cow. Exhale, round the back for cat. Exhale, arch the back. Let's keep going a few more of these. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. And return to center. 
Now, on your next inhale, we'll take the arms up and twist around to the right. Hands can be on the ground. You might want the left hand on the right knee. You might look to the side wall. You might look to the back. Taking a twist, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe. On your next inhale, we'll take the arms up, back through center and over to the left side, open up for a twist. Again, hands can just both be on the ground or the right hand on the left knee, maybe looking to the side wall, maybe looking to the back, sitting up nice and straight, an active sit, strong abs. Breathe. On your next inhale, bring the arms up, nice and tall and back to center. Next, we'll take a bound angle. We'll bring the feet together in front of you. You might want to support this position with blocks under the knees or not. You can also scoot the feet out any distance in front of you. Find that place where bound angle is comfortable and enjoyable for you. You can bring them in closer or further out. Everyone is different and every day is different. So we'll breathe here for a moment in bound angle. And then we'll reach the heart forward to fold over any amount, a lot or a little. There is no ideal. Reaching out with the heart. Breathe. Some exhales might find you moving a little deeper, although it's not necessary. Next inhale, rise up to sit, and we will extend the feet out for a wide leg forward fold. Now, for this move, you might just stay right here. You might sit on one of your blocks, or you might use a strap uh, if you like. Now, we're just warming up, so we don't want to go too far uh, into a stretch for this, but you can always use a strap. You can also, if you like, and you want something a little bit more, use a resistance band, a fantastic prop, not often thought of <laughs> uh, in yoga, but perhaps it should be. Or you can just use the weight of your, of your own torso. Again, reaching out with the heart, reaching forward, you might Put your hands on your shins. You might put them, grab the big toe. If you deepen during an exhale, you might grab the foot. Reaching forward with the heart and breathe.
On your next inhale, rise back up, nice and straight, active through the legs. Exhale, bring <clears throat> the legs in. We'll put our props aside and we'll come up to table. For table, the back is flat, knees about shoulder width apart, wrists under the shoulders, and the inside of the elbow pointing forward. This gives us a nice, stable shoulder girdle to work with. Adjust your position as needed. From table, we'll tuck the toes and push up into downward facing dog. Adjust the hands, feet can be close together or feet can be wider apart. You may need to walk the hands in a little bit closer or a little further. Adjust it as is right for your body today. You might pedal the feet. Do a stretch there in the calves and the hamstrings. Pressing in, hips high. Bending the knees any amount, but at least a tiny amount. On your next inhale, step forward, foot between the hands. Come forward for a forward fold. Hands can be on the ground or clasping the elbows, bending the knees any amount, but at least a little micro bend in those knees. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up. Arms out wide. And down to heart center. For mountain. As we stand in mountain, feet might be closer together or shoulder width apart. Strong feet, active through the feet, strong quads, strong legs. This is an active stand. Abs are tucked in. Just recognizing where your body is and what it's doing grounding into the earth. Now we're going to open up, arms up, and open to the side for star. Adjust your position, strong quads, strong glutes, active legs, toes may be pointed out, if it's more comfortable, you might point your toes straight. But a little external rotation can be helpful here for balance. Arms out. Everything is strong and active, not a passive move. Breathe. On your next inhale, bring the arms up. You might want to widen the legs a little bit and come down for goddess. Again, an active move. Strong, pushing the knees out. Use a chair if this is challenging. You can sit on a chair and still get a very nice goddess pose. Looking for 
about a 90 degree angle in the knee. Hold. Breathe. Your next inhale, come up, back to star. Hands on the hips. Adjust the feet. For this next move, you want, might want to angle the toes in just a little bit. On your next exhale, hands on the hips. Reach the heart forward, forward fold. A little or a lot. Feeling it in the hamstrings. Active through the legs and the back. Reaching with the heart. Breathe. Let the exhales take you a little bit deeper. You might support yourself with your hands or even hands on blocks. Whatever's right for you today. On your next inhale, root the feet down. Strong feet, strong legs. And rise up by pushing the feet out. On your next inhale, bring the arms out and behind for a bind, clasping the hands together in back of you. If this is too much strain on the shoulders, just take hands at the waist again or hands to the sides. On your next exhale, Reaching the heart forward and down. Maybe bringing the hands up. Again, do not overstrain the shoulder here. A little or a lot. Active legs. Reaching to the ground with the heart. Breathe. On your next inhale, push out through the feet to rise up and back to star. One more forward fold from here. Take the arms up. Reaching forward with the heart, hands to the ground, or hands on blocks. Try it both ways. Plant your left hand right under your nose and take the right arm up for a twist. Breathe. Maybe looking to the ceiling, maybe not. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Now the right hand goes under your nose. And the left arm comes up for a twist. Bending the knees at least a tiny tiny bit, little micro bend, maybe a lot of bend, maybe a block. Notice the difference between the left side of the body and the right and how this pose feels. Just noticing, not judging. We are natural bodies. We are different. 
from the right to the left. Bring the hand down, hands to the hips. Again, push the feet out to rise up. Back to star, toes pointed out, nice and strong, tight quads, tight glutes, strong pose, not passive. Breathe. On your next inhale, close it back up. Point the right toes back to the front and close it up for mountain. Hands to heart center and adjust your position. Again, mountain with strong legs. Again, inhale, arms go up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, and we step or float back into through plank, into downward facing dog. The right leg comes up and through for lunge. Turn the left foot out a little bit and come up for warrior. Check the knee over the ankle, shoulders over the hips. From here, make sure your feet feel stable. Keep the legs just the way they are. Bring the arms down. Clasp them behind you. If this is too much strain on the shoulders, just put the hands on the hips. Inhale. And as you exhale, fold it forward for humble warrior. Breathe. You can also bring the hands to the ground or to blocks to support yourself. Push through the right foot, coming up. Arms back up to the sky. Hands to heart center. We'll twist for a revolved warrior. So we're going to lean forward, rotate the torso, and put the elbow on the other side of the front leg. Push through the right foot, come back up. Arms up, down to the ground, straighten the left foot, come back through plank to downward facing dog. Pedal the feet. And let's take the same on the left side. Left leg comes up and through. Between the hands, right foot rotates out. And rise up for warrior one. Knee over the ankle, shoulders over the hips. Take the hands behind you or on the hips. Exhale, forward fold, humble warrior. 
You can also bring your hands to the ground or hands on blocks. Push through the left foot. Coming back to warrior one. Adjust the feet as needed. Hands to heart center. And revolve. So as we lean forward, we're rotating the torso to put the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Rotating the left ribs up to the ceiling. And we'll push through the left foot, come up. Back to warrior one. Hands to the ground. Back to downward facing dog. Head over feet. Inhale, step, or float forward, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, arms go out and up for a nice tall mountain. And down to heart center. We'll take a little step back to give ourselves a little bit more room to the middle of our mats. We'll take the right leg, bring it up straight in front of you, bring the knee up for a hug, maybe out to the side, maybe behind us for a stretch through the quads. And then we'll take that right foot and place it on the inside of the left thigh for tree. Now you can go higher up like that. You can go just right, toes on the ground with the right heel at the left ankle. You can put the <clears throat> right foot on the left calf, bring it as high or as low as you want, but not at the knee. We don't want to see that. So we'll bring the right foot to the left thigh, pushing through the left foot for stability, grounding the left foot into the ground, push into the ground, hands to heart center, maybe hands up or out, find your tree. For extra challenge in this balance, you might try a little rotation to one side or the other. Moving the arms any way you like. And let that right foot down. Shake out the left leg. And we'll take the same sequence on the left side. Grounding the right foot, active toes. We bring the right leg out straight. Bring the knee up. Maybe rotate it out. Back in front. behind for a little stretch 
through the quad while we're here. Anytime you feel off balance, push that right foot into the ground. For extra support, you can do this with a chair, holding on to the back of the chair. And now bring the left foot either to the right ankle, the right calf, or the right thigh, not at the knee. Strong right foot grounding into the earth, hands at heart center, or hands up or out. Grow your tree. Noticing the difference between the right side of the body and the left side of the body with this pose. Breathe. And bring the left foot down. Shake out the right leg. And we'll go back to the top of our mat in mountain. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step or float back through plank into downward facing dog. Take the feet a little wider and we will come down into table from table. Make sure that the inside of your elbows are pointing forward for a nice stable uh, shoulder girdle. Weight is distributed through the fingers, knees about shoulder width apart. Now from here we will take the right hand and the left leg and go out now bring the knee and the elbow in for a crunch. Out, straight, in. Out, in. Two more of those. And as we go, this last one, reach out and back, grab that foot. Now, if this is uh, too much strain on the shoulder, don't do it. Just keep crunching. Release and down. Let's take the same thing on the left side. The left arm and the right leg go out. Crunching in. Out. In. Out. That's three. Two more. Out. In, out, and in. And as we go out, if you like, reach back and grab the foot for a half bow. If it's too much strain on the shoulder, again, don't do it. Just keep crunching.
and release. Back to table. Ah, come through an easy sit. And down. From here, we'll take an inversion. Grab a strap. Or you can use a resistance band, like a TheraBand or other type. You can use a strap. You can even use a dog leash or a belt, whatever you have handy. I'm going to use my strap here. We're going to bring the feet up. And the point of the strap in this inversion is not to create a greater stretch, but to simply support the position. If your strap is long enough, you might hook your elbows through it, or you might just reach up and hold it. So this is not necessarily to deepen it as a stretch, although if you want to, you can do that. This is to hold the position comfortably for the inversion. Now you might also simply put your legs up a wall as support for this position as well, and that works equally nicely. And breathe. Adjust your props as needed. When you're ready, remove your props. Bring the knees up and wide, grabbing the toes for happy baby. Rocking back and forth. You might bring the feet up or not. You might rock back and forth or not. Let's take the legs long, arms up overhead for a stretch. And bring the arms back to the sides, laying down flat. From here, we will grab one knee right behind the thigh and come up to seated. And we'll take bound angles. So, the feet will be together, the soles of the feet together right in front of us. You can go out further 
or you can bring them in closer. You can support this position with blocks under the knees and see how it feels for you today. Reaching the heart forward, hands to the ground or hands on blocks. Folding forward any amount, but reaching with the heart. Inhale, sitting up. And we will put the legs in fire log. That is one stacked right over the other. One shin stacked right over the other. So we'll begin with the left shin stacked over the right. And lean forward. See how this stretch feels different. Sitting up, we're going to take that left leg out long. Bring the right leg uh, in with the right foot along the left thigh and forward fold. Grab the foot, grab the toe, grab the shin. You might use a strap or a resistance band around the foot to assist this stretch. Do what works for you today. Release. And we will bring the right knee up nice and tall, but out to the side just a little bit because your chest is going to come in front of it. We bring the left leg in with the left foot right up against the pelvis. right heel right up against the left ankle or a little bit wider if you need it and we're going to go forward wrap the arms around to take a bind and go even deeper breathe If this is not right for you today, take a bound angle or position of your choice. Unwrap that. Keep the left leg in front. We'll send the right leg out behind you. The left heel will be right in the crease of the right hip. And fold down forward. You can support yourself on your elbows. You might clasp the hands in front of you or not. You might have them flat on the ground. 
always reaching forward with the heart. If you need a larger challenge, you can take this left leg and put the shin horizontal on the mat for a greater stretch. Rise up on that one and come back and repeat the sequence on the other side. Back to fire log. The right shin is on top this time. Reaching forward with the heart. Feeling the difference between the right side and the left side. Letting each exhale bring you a little bit deeper, if that feels good today. Coming up, we stretch the right leg out, bring the left leg in, and fold forward over the right leg, grabbing the toe, grabbing the foot. You can use a strap or a resistance band to help deepen the stretch. Micro bend in the knee, as always. reaching forward from the heart. Bring that up. We'll bring that right leg the right heel all the way in to the pelvis, the left heel to the right ankle. It can be out a little further if you want some more space. Reaching forward with the heart and wrapping the arms around to take a bind. If this is too much, Choose a different position. Listen to your body and what it wants today. Breathe. Release your bind, come up. This time we'll send the left leg back. The right heel is right in the crease of the left hip. And lean down over there. You can support yourself on your shoulders. If you like, you can stretch out further or not. And if you want that greater challenge, you can always take this shin and place it horizontally across the mat for the same move 
in a deeper stretch. And breathe. When you're ready, come back up to sitting. Inhale, we'll take the arms up and open up to the right for a twist. Hands can be on the ground or left hand to right knee. Maybe looking behind you. Arms go up, inhale, twist over to the other side. Maybe looking behind. Back to center and down. Legs out straight, arms at your side. Coming into Shavasana. Shoulder blades tucked under. You might like a pillow or a bolster under the knees for comfort or under the head or nothing at all. Legs can fall to the sides a little bit. Hands can be at your sides or resting on the belly. This is your time to integrate your practice. What you noticed today. What came up for you today.
when you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Remove any props or pillows. Maybe roll the wrists and ankles. Start to move the arms and the legs. Maybe take the arms up for a stretch. And roll over to one side for a rest, just a moment, while you get your bearings. Extend the top leg out, and push up to a seated position. Thank you for joining me today. The love and the light and the teacher in me honors that in you. Namaste.